Hello there, Yamaha fans. Want to do a little interior walkthrough on this 2022 Yamaha 255XE. Really a great layout in this boat. Very roomy, lots of neat accents throughout. Uh, just spent a week on it on Table Rock Lake in Missouri, and it was a true pleasure to cruise. So to start, you'll see we've got the, the boarding ladder here. A um, little handle to help you up. We've got soft touch flooring throughout this boat. On the interior of the boat, it's actually snap-in, which is nice. Allows you to take it out and clean it more easily. Let me notice we've got the uh, transom controls for the stereo back here. A little fresh water intake. Got some nice pads here so you can sit out on the swim deck and lean up against there. Have some padding for your back. Cup holders back here throughout. It's really nice. This table, uh, I have it inserted now just for show, but uh, obviously that comes out there, stows away within the boat, but a uh, nice table back there to put some lunch on or whatever, a couple cup holders there. Um, it's really nice. We'll go ahead and climb up here on the boat and uh, keep going through here. Got your, uh, you know, nice upholstery all in perfect condition. I will, I will mention there's not a single flaw in the upholstery in this boat. I mean, it's only got 52 hours, um, just very well cared for and uh, really pristine condition throughout. See, so you've got your wet sound speakers uh, back here on the transom as well. A little 12 volt for you to be able to air up your tubes and whatever else. Um, these pads actually remove right here and then underneath this locker here is your clean outs, which makes it really nice. If you get anything uh, caught up, or if you suck any rope or anything up in there, gives you access to those clean outs to, to pull anything out that you may pull into the jet engines. Um, got a little bit of storage behind these uh, seats right here. On both sides. Um, that's pretty much it on the transom. Really nice area to hang out back here. Um, going into the cockpit here, we've got, uh, again, seating's all in perfect shape. Really contemporary with that color scheme, the blacks and whites and grays. I really like it. I do have the uh, filler cushions in right now throughout the boat. Um, you see this here uh, gives you a, a solid back across this, this rear seating area here, but that, that comes out, creates the uh, transom walk through there. Really nice so you don't, with uh, the soft touch flooring, so you don't have to deteriorate your upholstery. This... Uh, this here also comes out um, to give you that full walk through there. Just going to go ahead and leave those in for now, though, just for uh, for show. Um, stepping on, step on in here. So, anyways, really nice, uh, very large seating area back there. I mean, you could easily put one, two, three, four, five adults back here, or a whole lot of children. Um, Got uh, your ballast um, under here, actually. And then uh, really nice uh, access for your, for your uh, battery storage down here. You'll see uh, your, all your switches there, um, dual green top interstate batteries with a switch. Another ballast there for uh, your rear port ballast. Um, you see your wet sound speakers continuing on through the boat here. Um, let's see, might as well go ahead and show you the engine while we're engine compartment while we're here. Really easy to access that. You've got your twin 1.8 liter SVHO uh, jet engines, each putting out 250 horsepower. This thing is up on plane, incredibly easy. You know, even loaded down with people, and it'll run in the low 50s. Uh, really ple really a ple pleasure to cruise But you can see how clean the bilge there again the boat just in pristine condition with only 52 hours Then uh, coming on through here might as well highlight the tower at this time I do have the uh, the canvas off. It's in perfect condition. I just have it off for uh, For towing but you can see how large that that cage is there really covers the whole cockpit really nicely gives you some shade Got to, it does uh, it folds down manually fairly easily. You just uh, unhook these on both sides, fold it forward, gives you. Uh, um, and then also the uh, the cage up there for the bimini 
unhooks and folds back as well. So really limit your height if you if you need to do that for, for storage or whatever reason. You may want to limit your profile there. And uh, one thing that I found really nice, uh, you'll see the wet sounds uh, can speakers up there on the tower, but this sound bar is an upgrade that is excellent. So what I noticed is um, if you have, see, it, it rotates. So if you have that pointing out back, it really gives you additional uh, mid-range out behind the boat. But uh, one thing I noticed is in the cockpit area here in the, for the passenger and the, uh, and the captain, there's no additional speakers at those seats. So what's really nice is when you're cruising, you rotate this thing down, down fire it right at the, the passenger and the captain there, and it really gives you a nice sound throughout while you're cruising. That was a, a great add while we were enjoying this boat on Table Rock. Um, so here's another little bit of storage here in here just to, to keep some whatever items to get your fire extinguisher in there, another cup holder. Uh, this actually folds down and this flips up, making you another little table right there if you need that for anything. You know, lunch, snacks, whatever. Kind of a nice feature. And then uh, you'll see that uh, that soft touch snap-in flooring I, I, uh, I mentioned. I really like that even better than the, the stuff that's glued down with adhesive because you can pull it out it makes it easier to clean you see you've got your uh, wet sounds sub down there there's a little nice bump throughout the boat this is a spot for a, a cooler to go um, we've got a igloo cooler that i slide right in there fits nicely and keeps it out of the way so your uh, your guests can en enjoy the roominess in here got your passenger seat here it's got flip up uh and down armrest get a little uh storage spot down there with netting, plenty of cup holders. And uh, these cup holders do hold a Yeti, that's important to me. I'm a Yeti guy and always have them around. Get your little oh shit handle here for the passenger. Um, got uh, this um, little uh, glove compartment here, additional storage down here. Oh. And uh, more cup holders and just a little storage there. Got a uh, a USB here for the passenger to charge their phone. Uh, this is uh, what could be utilized as a head compartment, but there's no head uh, potty in this boat, it's just storage. And it is very deep and large in there. That's where I store the, the um, filler cushions when they're not in use. And also you've got your, uh, your curtain rod up there. I put all my life jackets up there. Really nice to have them hanging, keep them dry. And uh, yeah, this is the cover. It's actually a brand new cover. Just ordered that, you know, fitted for the boat, Yamaha cover. Um, so you've got your little toilet paper roll down there in case you have a potty in there, but uh, this one does not. You could get one after Mark or you could get one from the manufacturer if that's something that uh, you chose to do. Um, let's see, down in here, got, uh, there's your forward ballast and, uh, you know, pump there and just uh when the ballast is not full that's a uh, an incredible amount of space down there and even when it is full it doesn't take up that whole compartment so coming on through here to the uh the captain's area i've got your uh flip up arm up and down armrests again flip up bolster i like to keep that in the up position i don't really like to sit all the way down when i'm driving you got your uh you know all your uh your switches there, your different controls. This uh, this um, toggle here, you can utilize that to control the the screen, or it is also touch screen. Get your starts there. Uh, the XD version has the, these paddle wheels that uh, allow you to control the throttles when you're in docking mode. Makes it easy around the dock, so you can really uh, maneuver well and keep your hands on the steering wheel. At your uh, the uh, spot here for your phone it's a nice touch i utilize often gps here cup holders and uh you'll see the the dual throttles there for your uh for your twin engines i'll tell you what man those twin engines make this really nice to maneuver around the docks you can play them off of each other and uh just really makes it very maneuverable compared to a single engine boat um coming on through here uh to the bow i've got a little storage area right here um, this this folds out for your for your um, your bow entry door there. 
allowing you to close this area off and uh, limit the, the wind flow through the cockpit in case you're out on a chilly morning or evening or afternoon, for that matter. Um, folds right back in there. And then you'll see I do, uh, I have the filler cushions in here now. We really enjoyed this spot up here um, during our time using the boat. First of all, it's just really large anyways, but uh, call it a playpen up here. This is where all the kids like to hang out and cruise. It's got lots of pictures. Um, got your uh, wet sound speakers up here, but I really like this backrest that slides in right here. Uh, allows you to sit all the way across here, kind of like a couch. Um, I'll go ahead and crawl up here. I'll just show you like how large this area is. I mean, I'm 5'11", 205, and I easily fit all stretched out up here on this one side. I mean, you could, I think we had up to five or six people up here during our last trip, and it was super comfortable. Just a nice place to ride. You see the soft touch flooring throughout. All uh, soft touch on all these uh, all these hard surfaces too for, for stepping through the boat. Makes it really nice. More cup holders up here. Here's your anchor locker. You'll see it's not dinged up at all like a lot that you see for people whacking the anchor into the boat. Um, got your anchor there. Uh, front boarding ladder is nice for the kids. I don't really like to shimmy up it, but uh, kids really like that. Then uh, you do have some uh, some really nice storage up here. So you've got uh, large bumpers and ropes down in there. Lots of room for storage. Um, got some, these, these are also filler cushions that you can pull out if you want to sit uh, with your with your feet down without your legs extended on, the, on both sides. Otherwise, just a little storage. Good spot to keep shoes. That's what, that's what we did. And then uh, more storage over here. That's the, uh, the canvas for the Bimini in perfect condition. Got uh, some more different components down there, but uh, lots of storage in there. And uh, you'll see, once again, really nice contemporary uh, quality construction upholstery that's all in a uh, perfect shape a little dusty right now but uh anyways you'll see this boat is uh really in pristine condition not a single flaw throughout the cockpit and didn't mention this uh, really nice mirror here flips up you know aluminum mirror gives you a nice uh view out back make sure all your uh, passengers are are safe out there but uh i think that's about it for the interior walkthrough